What's up everyone? How's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Armored Core 6 graphics issues. So if you're getting an error message about graphics related problems, don't panic because there's a few things that you can do to fix these errors. And also if you're having graphical issues within the game while playing it, then this video will help as well. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download a program that I created called Easy Gaming Utility. Now once you've downloaded it and opened it, you will end up with a window that looks like this. You need to select the Clean tab and you then need to scroll down and you then need to click on Clean next to your graphics card. So I've got an NVIDIA um, graphics card, so I need to click on Clear NVIDIA Cache Files and just click on Clean. I then need to go OK and this is just going to remove all those old temporary cache files for my graphics card. Now once I've done that, the next thing that you need to do is just simply close down Easy Game Utility. There are loads of other cool features within the program that you can also check out if you want. But for now, I'm just going to close this down. And I then need to open up the Start menu and I now need to type in Disk Cleaner. You then need to select Disk Cleaner and then select your C drive and go OK. We then need to deselect everything but tick the DirectX shader cache and then go OK and then go delete files. Now once that's removed, make sure you haven't got anything else selected that you didn't want to remove. Now once we've done that, the next thing that you also need to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure how to update a driver for your graphics card, I will pop some links in the description below that you can check out on how you can do this. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, and then finding um, display adapters, and you will then see your graphics card there. As you can see, I've got a 4060 RTX, which means I need to download a driver for that graphics card. So I'd go to the NVIDIA website. Now that you've cleared the old cache files, DirectX cache, and we've also updated the graphics driver, go ahead and try the game and see if that resolves some of the graphical issues that you're having. Now, if that didn't work, then the next thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below to grab the latest version of DirectX. Scroll down, select your language, and then go download. Once the file's finished downloading, run the setup file. You then need to agree to the terms. If you do, click on I accept and go next. Deselect Bing Bar if you don't want to install it and then go next. And it will now check your DirectX files and ensure you have the latest files on your computer. If you don't, then this will then obviously install those files. As you can see there, I do have the latest DirectX version, which is all good. Also, it's worth ensuring you have the latest updates installed for Windows as Windows does update DirectX through that as well, DirectX 12. So we can now go ahead and click on finish. And the next thing that you need to do now, if DirectX did update, go ahead and try the game again and see if it helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is there's two ways of doing this. You can open up File Explorer, click in the address bar and do the percentage symbol and go app and then data, percentage symbol and then enter. You then need to find Armored Core 6. So if you have Easy Game Utility, what you can actually do, I closed it down, let me just open it again. What you can actually do is go to Files, find the game in the list, and then just click on Config Files, and it will then open up the location. I am always keeping that list up to date with all the latest games and stuff like that, so it's very handy. So what we want to do now is find this file here called Graphics Config. We need to right click on it and go rename and just simply add CS to the end of the file or you can add BK, whatever you want, but I'm just going to do CS. Now this is going to reset all your in-game settings. If you've um, done an incorrect setting or something that your graphics card's struggling on, then that's going to cause graphical issues. So by doing this, we are telling the game to redo all the settings back to their default values. Now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped resolve the issues that you've been having. If it didn't, then the next thing that I'd suggest, if you've overclocked your graphics card or any other hardware, enabled XMP or anything like that in the BIOS settings, disable all these settings if you know how, as one of them could be the cause of why the game's graphics or whatever is having issues. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope the video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like it, 
then click the like button. If you want to see more videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.